<laughs> no, my coffee. <laughs> This is our 300th yes, oh my god, review. Our 300th review was Attack of the Giant Blurry Pink. Way to celebrate. <laughs> Yay. Ah! So glad we do this. <laughs> yeah, 300. We've been going at this for 300 movies. Welcome to Stupid Movies where we watch them so you don't have to. That is right. And this week we watched... <laughs> We watched Attack of the Giant Blurry Finger. Yeah. Uh, 2021, not rated. It had technically an actor. Yeah, and then a finger. And a finger. Somebody's finger. Uh, it technically had a director and two writers, but they were also the one actor and or giant blurry finger. We're home by ourselves, uh, feeling incredibly mm. horny, and then a finger shows up. And starts fingering doing us? fingering us and doing stuff to us. What happened in this thing? It is about it's a puppet movie. Kind of. I'm pretty sure it was just a dude. dude oh yeah, it was just a dude know. with a finger. But it, they they treated it like a puppet. So I'm gonna call it a puppet movie. All right. About a giant blurry finger that apparently came down from space. I didn't catch that, but apparently. okay. <clears throat> and breaks into this woman's house. And they beat each other up and then start having sex. And then it turns into a bad relationship. And they go back to beating each other up. And the end? Well, uh, we... Uh, fingers? Uh, we like ladies. Rob likes getting fingered. What else do we like? No. I was very impressed with... Especially considering it was probably zero budget. How they pulled off the interaction between the girl and the finger. There were a lot of the way they set up angles reminded me like of Lord of the Rings with forced perspective. And, you know, she's 10, 15 feet away from the camera interacting with something that's a couple of inches from the camera. Right. And it looks like there, for the most part, there are some that aren't as good as others, but it looks for the most part like they're in the same scene and they are interacting with each other. And that was pretty impressive. The way things were done felt like a puppet movie. I will give it that it was different. It was very different. It was unique. I've never seen a movie like this before. No. I, I mean, very strange. And it, it was strange. And it, it, I mean, it was strange. It was very strange. <laughs> and I like strange. You do like strange. I do. This is about, I mean, this is... This is it's porn. Basically. This is almost a porn. This is a softcore boyfriend and girlfriend amateur porn. And I like that. I thought it was kind of strange how it didn't really show any actual nudity until I thought. Until yeah. the end. Which that is, was very weird. Very There's a weird. lot of implied nudity throughout the whole movie with a giant blurry finger covering all of it. And it's not until the very end of the movie that there's any nudity. Yeah. It's very odd. But it's full on in your face once you get there. I like it. I thought considering the lack of dialogue, I thought they did a very, very good job setting up this relationship between the girl and the giant blurry finger. <laughs> there was a lot through... It's the old show, don't tell. Like, they showed them doing things together. Not just sex, although there was... A lot of that, too. 80% of it. Uh, but they did show them, you know, watching movies and cooking together and doing stuff like that. And it felt like a pretty realistic relationship between a woman and a giant blurry finger. <laughs> like, Was this an innuendo just for a girl who's super horny and likes to just do things so. to herself? I Cause... think the whole thing was just a setup for making jokes about getting fingered. Unlike Rob, I don't like getting fingered. What else don't we like? I do not like that. <laughs> we don't like hemorrhoids. <laughs> what else don't we like? That's right. Okay, this was just weird. Like, I don't see the point of it. The lack of dialogue really hurt this movie. Yeah. Uh, this movie needed dialogue. Because, yes, you can insinuate and, and show don't tell quite a bit to set many things up. But the fact that it was from outer space, I didn't pick that up. Yeah. It could have been a, a, a monster that broke out of a lab. It could have been just, God said, here's a giant blurry finger now. 
It could have been any number of things. I don't know. I did not pick that part up from it. Right. Uh, because there really was almost no dialogue to this. Was, and it needed some more. Uh, it, it was boring. It was very slow. And the lack of dialogue does not help that. It's an hour long. But there's no reason for that. This could have been a, a 10 minute This short. could have been a short. Yeah, and that would have been fine. That would have been highly amusing, but to go on with... It was basically a rinse, repeat kind of situation. You know, they, they she starts getting herself off with a finger holding up between her legs so you can't see anything, and then it goes to something else briefly, and then it does that again yeah. in a different room. It's like... Bleh. I want to give a special dislike to the fact that the finger ejaculated ketchup, or was that supposed to be blood? I think she was beating it. Like, it was supposed to be blood. Okay. And it was ketchup. And it looked awful. It, it looked like ketchup. But it looked bad. It yeah. just, I was like, oh, you couldn't even got fake blood? I mean, you can go Spirit Halloween and get fake blood for like five bucks. You, you had so little when it came to special effects. I feel like you could have gotten the, the, yeah. halfway decent fake blood. The, the biggest special effect was doing this. Yeah. I don't know what else to say about this. It's a tough movie there's, to talk about because there's not much there. There's nothing there aside from the finger and a girl. And it's just, I, I just, this was not my cup of tea. I will just say that. Why don't we wrap it up? Tell us your final mm. thoughts, man. This was absurd and ridiculous. <laughs> I don't understand uh, why. I, 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 I didn't like it. I'll be honest. I thought it was different, kind of unique, which, you know, for the first 10 minutes, I'm like, oh, okay, this could be kind of funny. But then it just kept going on and on and on uh, as if, you know, the finger couldn't do its job. And, you know, that gets frustrating <laughs> for creativeness and some kind of funny what the hell stuff. I'll, I'll give it one and a half out of eight. Okay. I'm going to start the exact same way. This was absurd <laughs> and ridiculous, and I don't understand it. But I enjoyed it. It's stupid. It was weird. It was very stupid. But I had fun with it. It was different. It was weird. It was... Not your typical movie. I like the name. It takes me back to old 50s and 60s B-movies. I liked it for what it was. It is weird. It is very weird. There is no other way to say. Like, picture a normal movie, then there's this movie. Over here, doing its own thing, licking paint off the walls, peeing in the sandbox. It's weird. So I liked it. I liked it more than you did. I'm going to give it a three and a half out of eight. You can uh, use your finger to hit that like to subscribe. Hit that subscribe and like button. And use your finger to go tell your friends on the internet to come watch us. And they can use their finger to like subscribe. Anyway, go over to facebook.com slash stupid movies. Instagram at stupid movies at Dr. Sketch Turner at the horror punk. You can also use your finger to email us at stupid movies at outlook.com. Yeah. Send us pictures of your fingers. Yeah. Yeah. Finger yourself and send Rob a picture. <laughs> All right. See ya. Oh, oh, excuse me. Next time. Bye bye. I already did that joke. You did? Yeah. And you're not even on camera. Where's your camera at? It was right there. <laughs>